If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the Team Diamond promo, what to expect, how to prepare, and pretty much all that in there, guys. Now, if you didn't know, Mutt Leaks did leak out the Mutt um animation for team diamonds which was super cool i showed you guys yesterday if you didn't see that head on down below so i believe my morning video and go check that out pretty cool animation diamonds everywhere all sparkly and all that so that was pretty cool now yes in the past when mutt leaks has leaked something in terms of animations it doesn't always mean we're gonna get the promo but team diamonds is practically a staple yes like the space program and those weird ones that we had no idea about those are like the iffy ones team diamonds i expect last year team diamonds would have been out already we got it really early last year like like two or three days into EX, if i'm not mistaken so that was really cool but i do expect it to come soon now ex um not ex sorry team diamonds is one of the one of the more fun promos to start the year for a few reasons first off it's very uh theme team oriented so everyone who's doing theme teams are very excited about it it gives you a lot of players that are like legends and fan favorites at the same time so instead of getting like the typical Deion sander randy moss lawrence taylor guys you'll see like a victor cruz uh uh haley mark clayton a bunch of guys who are kind of like big like if you if you know the team those guys are legends to you. If you know football, those guys are like, you know, popular and exciting to you, but they're not exactly the typical legends you see, which I kind of like. It's a place in these games for those guys because we don't only legends we get are like Hall of Fame S guys or, you know, top tier players of all time. We never get the fan favorites because there's no such thing as a, uh, like a budget, budget legends or like subpar legend promo. That's not a thing. So I do like that. But before we get into the video and go through everything, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. Comment down below, Poodle Squad, if you want to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad. Um, comment down below if you guys have any questions regarding Team Diamonds. As well as if you guys need coins for anything, a lot of stuff to pick up in this game right now. Head on down to Mutt Reserve, use code Poodle at checkout for a discount for use code Poodle. You won't regret it, I promise. But the, the link should be down below in the description, probably first line of the, com, the description right about the comment section. But yeah, let's get into this. So, Team Diamonds. The way it's going to look, guys, is going to be under sets. And you're going to come to Team Affinity, and it will be right next to Team Builders, more than likely. It'll say Team Diamonds 1, it might just say Team Diamonds, and then later in the year, say Team Diamonds 2, and we get a second one. Now, Team Diamonds will be similar to Team Builders in the sense that it'll be 32 teams. Each team will get a Team Diamond, and then there'll be a Master, which is something that this didn't get. Now, the reason I like Team Diamonds is, first off, that Master's usually insane. We've had Night Train Lane in the past. We've had, we had Barry Sanders last year, and that running back was like the GOAT for about two months. Like, everyone loved him. People even picked him over higher-rated running backs, over faster running backs, like... He was just insane for his agility, change of direction, abilities for like a long time. Now, this is going to be very good for, uh, for the reason this team affinity section right here is going to be really good for all theme teams because pretty much every team gets a player. So I really do like that. And of course, to get the master, it's going to be a grind. You have to finish all 32 teams. Now, it's even harder than these. On this one, right, you just have to fill out like a few spots. Team diamonds, typically you have to fill out like 17 to 20 players or even more if it's team specific. Uh, I believe last year was not team specific for Team Diamonds 2 at least. But again, uh, I mean, well, player specific. You didn't have to get like every player. You could just get like this 10 of the same elites. Now, something that's important for how to prepare guys that I do want to make you guys aware of is going to be protect your binder. Keep it in order. So let's just say, right, you're a Chiefs fan and you want to get the Chiefs Team Diamond. Now, let's say the Chiefs Team Diamond's Eric Berry or something like it was last year. That would mean that you're going to need a lot of Chiefs players. So if you open up Chiefs Fantasy Packs, lucky for you, you should have a decent amount of Chiefs. So I have 130 Chiefs. So it might say, put in a... So and there's been years where they want actually McCall Hardman, Demarcus Robinson, Darrell Williams, uh, Fenton, Wiley. Like they're going to want these players. So you use one of each. But then there's years like last year where it just said, put in like 17 gold, 7, 5, 10, 9. So I'd be like, okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. The bottom gold, 2, 10, 11, 12. You're like that. You're like, okay. So I put all the golds in. Now it's going to say put in like uh, 12 elites. So you go put in a total of 480 to 81. So one, two, and then my third one's right there. Fourth one's right there. So that would be, you could use all Joe Thunies. Then it'll say, okay, now you need a one high 86 or whatever. So then you put in Tyron Matthew. And before you know it, you have the whole Chiefs set done. So if you have a guy, if you did the Chiefs fantasy packs, typically if you hold on to these players, you'll have a pretty decent standpoint within Team Diamonds. But then you go to a team like, let's say the Browns, all I have is three players. And only one of them is a 70 or above gold. So more than likely, the Browns would be tough to do. The next closest team I do have outside of the Chiefs would probably be the Vikings. And that's kind of scary to say because I don't have much. Oh, the Rams. So the Rams would be my next one. So I could easily go, you know, I, I could put like, I have a total of about five golds I could toss in there. Not too far ahead in that one. It seems like Chiefs would be the best of that for me. So whatever team fantasy pack you did lead towards, that's the team that you probably have the best chance of doing. Also, you don't also have to do them. 
another good thing is like so Clyde Edwards a layer right he goes for about 2900 2400 usually if this set requires a lot of a uh, high high goals from the Chiefs set to uh, Clyde might go to 4k now that's not a lot that's only 25 percent increase but remember if every card you get goes up 25 percent and you had 250k worth of cards you plan to sell that's now like 325 worth of cards now like you had 25 percent increase on that that's good that's really good after reduction like 300k that's another like, extra 50k coins you get to play with joe thuny he's typically around like 9 to 10k people probably know because people are making videos on team diamonds they probably know it's gonna happen so they're probably you know investing and stocking up but joe thuny is another guy who could go up to like 13k 14k doesn't sound like a lot but if you have a lot of cars that go up like that that's not an extra coin you wouldn't have had before so yeah i wouldn't recommend selling much yet if you find good prices for some elites like some 6k snipes 7k snipes or some good gold prices maybe pick them up there's a chance they change the way this is done there's a chance they change a few things but if they don't just know that you're going to have a pretty good head start on it and if not you still have the cards to go for power ups won't be affected uh primarily because like see like a tyree kill here just in just 20ks power ups aren't going to be affected at all and primarily because this is a very elite gold and top tier eccentric promo. What's going to be expensive is that master. That master is going to require you to finish um, all the sets in the game. So usually takes at least a day to a few days to get even one master on the block. And then from there on out, there shouldn't be many for a while. It takes some time, takes a lot of coins. But guys, let me go show you guys the actual promo breakdown and all the players from last year. Do you have an idea of who the kind of guys we do get? Guys, okay, so for last year, we had guys starting in the 86 overall. So the overalls range from pretty much ease of set. So the Bengals were the cheapest set because they were the cheapest one to do based on, I guess, like how bad the team was in the game. So we had Takeo Spikes. That wasn't the popular one. Mark Clayton was a really popular one. That was like one of the day ones, like Tyreek and Mark Clayton. Uh, Keenan McCardle was a cool name, but he wasn't that great. Mo Lewis was okay, especially later in the year when we got an upgrade. Uh, let's see. David Deal was cool because I'm a Giants fan. Jimbo Covert. Uh, Rich Gannon was a really popular one. Adrian Wilson and Bob Sanders were popular, although Adrian Wilson was a, a lot taller, so he was even more popular. Elvis Duberville was pretty good as well. We had Dre Bly. He was pretty fast. Um, Roddy White was co a cool name, not too great. Travis Frederick was really good. Dante Hall wasn't that great. Adelius Thomas was kind of a beast for a while. He was like he was like baby uh, Lawrence Taylor for a little bit. We're going down some more. As you guys can see, as the teams get better, they go up in overall. So now we have Work Done. Work Done was like the he was the Barry Sanders before Barry Sanders. Before everyone was getting Barry Sanders at an affordable price, everyone was kind of rocking with Work Done. Powered up and chemed up. He had like a he had an 89 speed off the rip. Put sprinter on we were able to get him all the way up to like a 90 91 sprint uh speed i believe 91 i believe it was like 90 max i don't know if you were able to get a full sprinter team just yet uh troy vincent was pretty good as well justin smith was cool just too slow asante samuel was a beast he used to have 90 speed off the rip with that high with the high zone he was great and then phil lotholt and jari evans were just great all linemen jermichael finley was the best tight end in the game for a while because he was the only tight end that was able to get the short and medium route running threshold above 90 for a while, as well as a 90 spec and 90 catch in traffic. People love this card. He was able to get to like 85, 86 speed as well. He was great. And then, of course, we had the master, which was Barry Sanders with that 91 speed. And he had the 88 carrying with 94 agility, 94 uh, excel, 92 break tackle. This guy was the GOAT. People loved him for a long, long time. I, I was surprised to him give us Barry that early, but I love Barry. If you guys know, this channel started on Barry. One of my first videos on this channel was a Barry gameplay. I was a big, I'm a big fan of Barry Sanders and Madden. Always have been. Last year, he kind of sucked after this card. Uh, the next card they gave him, I don't, you know, it was two years ago. I think two years ago, he sucked. Yeah, the year of Eric Dickerson when Barry Sanders got that NFL 100 card, that's when Barry sucked. But they brought him back last year. Now, with the way this game feels with the slowness and the you know lack of juking, I wonder how Barry would really feel. Maybe it would take a guy like Barry to really unlock the, the engine of this game, right? But guys, that pretty much wraps it up. That's going to be everything for the Team Diamonds uh, promo. What to expect, how to prepare, a little bit of everything, a breakdown. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're into the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you need coins, head on down to Mutt Reserve down below. Use code Pudo at checkout. You won't regret it, guys. You're going to need some coins, so make sure you use my discount. Get 15% off. Pretty large percentage off if you ask me, especially when you spend a lot. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.